notion that you can read a few books and come up with a definitive theory of comedy is absurd. I mean, humor is a complex neurological... <laughs> Leonard, do you think I'm funny? No. <laughs> do you? I think I'm hysterical. <laughs> I take it back. That was funny. <laughs> The philosopher Henri Bergson says, it's funny when a human being behaves like an object. I bet that bit killed in the chuckle hut. <laughs> oh, he didn't perform stand-up comedy. He was a philosopher. <laughs> no, I think we're zeroing in on your problem. Perhaps I'll spend some time developing a unified theory of comedy, which will allow me to elicit laughter from anyone at any time. Unless they're German, because that's a tough crowd. Are you set on people laughing with you? Because if you're cool with at you... I don't get it. All started with a big bang. Hey! I've been studying how to make people laugh. They say that comedy is tragedy plus time. Let's tickle some ribs. <laughs> this is interesting. Apparently, a key component in some forms of humor is the element of surprise. Well, that makes sense. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for planning and anticipation, and patients with brain lesions... Brain lesions! <laughs> Sheldon, you scared me. That wasn't funny. Or maybe you have a stick up your prefrontal cortex. <laughs> okay, the notion that you can read a few books and come up with a definitive theory of comedy is absurd. I mean, humor is a complex neurological... <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Yes. <laughs> Kumquat? I guess. Ointment? <laughs> sure. Now, would you say ointment is more equal to or less funny than kumquat? I don't think I want to go out with you anymore. <laughs> would you please stop joking around? I'm trying to figure this out. Sheldon, how many words are you going to go through? All of them. This arena all started with a big bang.